All right, the uh, annual voters uh, summit, right? The values voters summit, I should say, is uh, going on right now in Washington, D.C. President Trump is set to speak there tonight. Uh, the Family Research Council, President Tony Perkins, he's the big cheese there, is taking some time to join us. I'm very grateful for that. Tony, how are you? I'm good, Neil. Good to be with you. You're the big cheese. I wish that were true, but uh, maybe provolone cheese. But, but you know, Tony, this, this today and this event, uh, how do value voters feel? I mean, those who, you know, for, for whom religion and all these other issues are very important. Uh, it's a pretty polarizing election year. Uh, sometimes some not so pleasant language is exchanged by both sides. So how are, how are they feeling? You know, it's very interesting, Neil. Um, what, what's happened, I think, while the, the intensity grows, the clarity grows. And uh, the enthusiasm at this Values Voter Summit, despite the backdrop of investigations and impeachment, uh, has never been stronger. Now, there is a stronger focus this year, more on the, the, the spiritual nature of, of, of the values voters and, the, and where we gain our true strength, and that there is a, a, a real battle, if you will, for values, and th they see in this president, and it, this was really summarized the other night in a, in a, in a group of about a couple hundred uh, conservative evangelical um, supporters that were having a dinner, and one of the questions that was asked was, look, we support the president, the, the impeachment, the investigation, that's all political theater. That doesn't phase us one bit, but this issue with Syria, which is unfolding right now, it, it has been a troubling issue, and that's where they're trying to grasp, you know, when we see what's happening in northeast Syria, where there's uh, one of the few places where true religious freedom in the Middle East has taken hold, we don't want to see America back away from the Kurds, from the Christians, the Yazidis, and the others. But and we so have, that's right? the How do they reconcile that on the appearances? And the president might have well, perfectly valid reasons. He's tired of going to funerals and greeting uh, loved ones whose, whose uh, sons and daughters have come home in, in coffins. I get that. I understand that. I appreciate that. But, yes. but do they feel that in so doing, he, he's provided an opportunity for the bad guys to triumph? Well, Neil, you articulate uh, the question. I think that's why tonight when the president comes and speaks at the, the gala in which we are going to be honoring Andrew Brunson, which was a year ago today that I escorted him back that's to the right, United States. Right. Uh, the president is going to be there, be the keynote speaker. We're going to recognize Andrew with our Cost of Discipleship Award. And I think he's going to have the opportunity to explain. I mean, obviously, the president, his administration, I was in the White House yesterday discussing this issue. They have a lot more information than we do as the American public. But this is a question in the mind of, of evangelicals. It's the only time I've seen in the, it, during his administration where there's, they've, been a sh they've been shook a little bit about a decision from the president. All right. I know you're a busy guy. Uh, Tony, good luck with this. I know you're ringleading this. It gets a lot of attention, as it should. Tony Perkins, the Family Research Council.